Welcome to Kindergarten Superstars. It's great to see you again. My name is Mrs. Myers, and today we're going to continue to talk about phonological awareness. Last time we talked about alliterations, and today we're going to talk about rhyming. So rhyming is listening to the sounds at the end of a word, and when they sound the same, that's called rhyming. Um, What's really neat about phonological awareness is it's done with your ears. We're listening. And we all know that we're great sound detectives and we're getting really good at listening to beginning sounds, alliterations. We're listening to the ending sounds now, rhyming. We're listening to all the different parts that we can put together to make words. And this is gonna help us when we learn how to read. So we're gonna start off with a rhyming book. And um, the book that I wanted to read is not here. So fortunately for you and me, there are so many rhyming books. And the more rhyming books you read, the better, because it helps you train your ear to listen for the sounds at the beginning. So sit back and enjoy this story, and let's see or hear if you can hear some of the sounds. The book I'm going to read is called what the Ladybug Heard. It's by Julia Donaldson, and it is illustrated by Lydia Monks. I forgot to look in here. Let's go into the ever important uh, publisher. A special thanks to Henry Holden Company Publishers um, for letting us read this book. What the Ladybug Heard. And our end papers have quite an elaborate map of Farm. Isn't that lovely, the layout? It looks like a well-run farm. What the ladybug heard. All right, friends, start listening and see, if, I mean not see, hear if you can hear the sounds of the words. Once upon a farm, there lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond and a goose in a pen. A woolly sheep and a hairy dog, a handsome horse and a dainty dog, a fine prize cow, two cats that purred, and a ladybug that never said a word. The cow said, moo. The hen said, cluck. Hiss, said the goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse, and oink, said the pig. Ba, said the sheep. Woof, said the dog, and the cats meowed while the other one purred, and the ladybug never said a word. I'm hearing a lot of sounds that sound the same. But the ladybug saw, and the ladybug heard. She saw two men in a big black van with a map and a key and a cunning plan, and she heard them whisper, this is how we're going to steal the fine prize cow. Open the gate in the dead of night, past the horse, and then turn right. Round the duck pond, past the hog, be careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead, and in through the doors of the prize cow shed. Look at that map. This is a well thought out plan. Then, Help was the ladybug's very first word, and gather round were the second and third. And she told the animals, this is how two thieves are planning to steal the cow. They they'll open the gate in the dead of night and pass the horse and then turn right. Round the duck pond, past the hog, be careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead and in through the door of the prize cow shed. And the cow said moo, and the hen said cluck. Hiss, said the goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Oink, said the cow. Bow, said ba, said the sheep, and woof, said the dog. And both the cats began to meow. We can't let them steal the fine prize cow. But the ladybug told them not to fear, and she whispered her plan into every ear. In the dead of night, the two bad men 
hefty Hugh and lanky Len opened the gate while the farmer slept and tiptoed into the farm they crept. Then the goose said, nay, with all of her might. And Lynn said, that's the horse. Let's turn right. The goose said, nay, uh-oh. And the dainty dog began to quack. The duck said, Hugh, we're on the right track. They're getting tricked. Quack, said the cats. There goes the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Ba, 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 said the fat red hen. The sheep were nearly there, said Lynn. Then the duck on the pond said, moo, moo, moo. Two more steps to go, said Hugh. And they both stepped into the duck pond, splosh. And the farmer woke up and said, golly gosh. And he called the cops and they caught the men, hefty Hugh and lanky Lynn. Then the cow said moo and the hen said cluck. Hiss said the goose and quack said the duck. Nay said the horse, oink said the hog, bass said the sheep and woof said the dog. And the farmer cheered and both cats purred, but the ladybug never said a word. Well, the heist was foiled. Good news. Did you hear some of the sounds that I was reading? Some of the ending sounds of the word where they sounded the same? I'll give you an example. Um, once upon a farm, there lived a red fat hen, a duck in a pond and a goose and a hen. So if you look at it, you can see they look the same at the end, but sometimes we just use our ears to hear the sounds and we don't even have to look at it at the beginning. Wow. Okay, that was a nice book. I would encourage you to read as many rhyming books as you can. Not only are they silly and fun, but they help you practice and become a better listener. You become, your little ears become better detectives the more they hear it and you start to make the connection. Oh, that's the same at the end. Or in alliteration, that's the same at the beginning. And when you can break apart the words and put them back together and identify the different sounds, that's part of learning to read. So keep working on it, friends. Now we're going to play a little game called, let's see, let's call this Super Listener's Word Detective Game. And we are going to look at some images and we're going to say them. And then we're going to notice that they sound the same or they rhyme at the end. Clock. Block. Clock, pop. <laughs> ah, whoopsie. Okay. Clock, block. Forgive me. It's been a long day. Pie, I. Pie, I. Do those sound the same? They certainly do. Let's go through these quickly and see how you do. I'm rhyming. Bear, pear. Toes, nose. Fox, socks. House, mouse. They sound the same at the end. Cat, bat. Star, car. Goat, boat. Sled, bed. Train, rain. Fly, spy. Tree, chi. Bread, red. You guys are getting really good at this. Shoe, glue. Frog, dog. Key, bee. Hat, bat. Hat, bat. Wow. 
Well, you are going to be able to take these words with pictures because you're just learning to read. And as you get better at them and can identify the sounds, you can cut them in half and quiz yourself. And it's all kinds of fun as you try to find out if you can find bread rhymes with star. No. Bread rhymes with, let's see if I can find it. Where is it? Bread. Red. Hmm. How about this one? Train. Train. Bed. Train. Bed. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. How about... Where did that go? Mm -hmm -hmm. Well, I can't even find the rainstorm. I just saw it in here. Train. <sighs> Rain. Where are you, rain cloud? Sometimes things get lost, but that's okay. You can draw another card and uh, use it if uh, you lose one of them, or you can stop by, give me a call, and I'll send you some. Well, thank you for coming here today. You're really super listeners. Everyone's getting really good at hearing the sounds at the end of the word. And if they sound the same, we are rhyming. Rhyming is like Dr. Seuss. You can even make up rhymes. And then last time we learned about alliterations. Alliterations are when they sound the beginning, sound the same at the beginning. Goodness, rhyming's at the end, alliteration at the beginning. Wow, you guys are sure learning a lot. I think you're about ready for kindergarten. How about you? Well, thanks for joining me today, and I will see you next time. We'll play some games and have some fun. Don't forget to go outside and play. Bye.